This video is our presentation of Liberty Silver Corp. Liberty Silver is a bolt and boardless company, training our ticker LBSV. This chart caught my eye because of the surge in volume yesterday. Typically a pretty low volume play, five figure sort of volume. Jumped up to 331,000 shares yesterday. And ultimately, this chart looks like it's coming off a bottom here at 50 cents and progressively making some higher lows holding over top of all the shorter term moving averages and the 50 day moving average. And even though it only closed up about 3% yesterday, that surge in volume is enough to make me want to keep this on radar, see if it's going to push higher, start developing upward channel. MACD, a key gauge of trend that most traders watch, holding right around zero. Histogram bars, got to look close, but they're just slightly on top of zero, saying that a bullish cross has happened. Breaking through zero is what technical traders call breaking the money line. Typically, it's a bullish indication of trend. BPO has also pushed upward, breaking through zero at this point. It's a very interesting position for the ADX because typically when you find the ADX up over top of 50 and the negative DI up higher, positive DI down low, the stock's really been taking a bit of a beating generally and the share price is really depressed. So this is a very interesting thing to note that it's in this sort of position as the share price has been climbing. And because it's typically a reversal position, I think it's worth keeping an eye on for a stronger surge to happen to bring this positive DI come whipping upward some. Money flow index, sharp climb, pushed above 50, tells me the higher prices are being paid to accumulate the stock. It's a great look to the accumulation distribution across nine months, nice upward trend. Jake and Money Flow also saying that buying pressure has been well outweighing selling pressure as the CMS been holding in the green, and that's what that signals. Just a nice upward path to the CCI, continually making higher highs, now broken through 100, which technically speaking is officially the buy signal from the CCI. Nice momentum in the full still, holding over top of 50, making higher lows. Read that as bullish momentum in the play. And the tricks, much like the MACD, it's a gauge of trend, moving upward, bullish cross, and now trying to push through zero. RSIs are also holding over top of 50 in the recent past. That's a key indication of bullish momentum in the play. And as I mentioned, what I like is the upward path. Coming off this bottom at 50 cents, steadily making higher lows from a support level. Pretty strong support there at 65 cents on any pullbacks. I'd look for that to definitely hold. There is some secondary support right in there around 71, an area that it pushed through. And from a dynamic standpoint, it's an important level because it's keeping the price per share over top of the 50 day moving average, which is something that I always look for. The most bullish of charts are trending over top of the 50 and the 200 day moving averages as they're trending upward. From a resistance standpoint, I would look very close ahead at 75 cents. Just had a difficult time closing above that over the last month or so. And I think that's a secondary resistance point, but an important one to start making some higher highs just in this one month period time frame to potentially go up here and look towards old highs around 90 cents. And certainly what I'd call some upper end resistance around $1.03. I'd keep my eye on the volume on this play because if it can blow through 75, it does have a pretty decent chance of going up here and challenging 90. And at that point, what I'm looking for, though it's getting a little confusing with a lot of lines, is an upward channel overall in this stock and potentially move to challenge these old highs. It's a very interesting chart though, hitting the watch list because of the volume surge. Indicators are aligned showing bullish trend and bullish momentum. And as such, it's one to keep an eye on CR performs from here forward. But as always, merely my opinion in an LBSV chart. Thank you for watching and trade smart.